and Emily, the two roaming souls, and we've been traveling the U.S. on our self-converted camper van for the last two years. This week, we're exploring the cute mountain town of Leavenworth, Washington. The entire town is Bavarian-themed, so it's like a little slice of Germany dropped right in the mountains of Washington. We got some bratwurst, giant pretzels, checked out the local breweries, and even float the Wenatchee River. But is it one big tourist trap or something more special? Join us as we find out. All right, we just got to Leavenworth. We... Willkommen. Yeah, it is very hot. It's probably like 85 degrees. So yes. We're going to go downtown and get some food and some drinks. First stop, Rhine House, a Bavarian-style restaurant and beer garden. Our favorite thing was the delicious habanero cheddar wurst, but we also had to get a jumbo pretzel. And in Leavenworth, you gotta try the famous pretzel. Oh, yeah. Anything with melted cheese is a hit for Emily. All right, we just finished up at Ryan House. Now we're gonna go walk around town, explore a little bit. Work off the beer and the broth a little yeah. bit. <laughs> it's a little more touristy here than I thought it was gonna be, but it's very cool. It's so cute. Yeah, and uh, there's lots of breweries too, so we'll have plenty to do. <laughs> came to check out the like Riverside Park down here and we didn't realize how good this town would be for floating. Yeah, it's like 85, so nice out here. Yeah, we might have to make a different plan and come back <laughs> here with our kayak or our floaties and do some swimming. So we were gonna hike tomorrow, but we decided to pivot our entire plan. Yeah, it's gonna be 87, sunny. It's actually getting into like the hundreds next week here. I didn't know it got so hot. Yeah. We were thinking kind of up in the mountains would be cool, but it's going to be really hot. So we're going to figure out how to take the kayak out on the river and do a nice little float tomorrow. Today is, we're still on schedule. We're going to go to some breweries. Have a good one. Enjoy the travels. Thank you. That was a unique experience. <laughs> yeah, people said that brewery was small. I didn't take them seriously. I think it's smaller than our van in there. It might be. <laughs> nah, a little bigger, but it was interesting. It was unique because then you actually like got to talk to people versus you know it's you had to talk to people if, if you and didn't it got awkward if no one was talking yeah but i think they call it the dog house brewery because it's like uh, when they say you're in the dog house like literally in that little <laughs> dog house outside that's the size of a dog and then a bernice mountain dog came in there and probably wouldn't fit very well with a bunch of people in the bar yeah because we got a flight of beers and pretty much all of them are hazy IPAs right in our wheelhouse. It's rare that they have that many beers that are like our style. Let's give it a try. Okay. This smells, this smells the vibe. This is the Kickstand Pale Ale. It's very fruity, light, drinkable, good.
being here for the beers, but we heard their pizza is just amazing and it smells so good. We got barbecue chicken pizza. It looks delicious. Let's dive in. That pizza at Blue It Brewing Company, so good. Like, Worth it. I would say that's like a must do if you come to Leavenworth. Yeah. And I've been a pizza chef twice in my life. So. I also think their beer was like my favorite beer while we visited here. Yeah. All right, so where we're camping tonight is there's like a public parking here and you're allowed to stay one night, which is awesome for us in the van. Um, because we were just able to park it, go like explore town, and it just like encourages tourism because... Yeah, I wish more towns were like that. <laughs> yeah, and it like takes the pressure off us because we can like go to a bunch of breweries, get really drunk, and we don't have to drive later. <laughs> yeah, which is like really, really nice. I wish more towns, if you're listening, towns have more things like this. <laughs> it encourages tourism, and it's good, and it's safe for everyone. So we're gonna walk around a little bit more and head back to the van. This thing down here is really funny because it's, it's not mini golf, it's mini golf. Like it's just like a regular golf course, but it's just tiny. Like the green. There's no fountains, there's no castles. Slept really well in the parking lot that the town provides, which is really, really nice. So this morning we're going to a Danish bakery. I'm so excited. Yeah. I love bakers. We're gonna get some treats and then we're gonna go get set up so we can float the river here. that don't know my parents own a bakery in Wisconsin for like 15 years or more and so I have high standards for my sweets so let's try it first up cheese danish <laughs> I didn't even get any cheese <laughs> refund we got an almond kringle too so much sugar for breakfast Oh, wow. I told you. There's cheese in there, too. Oh, bomb. You must have planned this. <laughs> so we just got back to the van, and I realized I don't have the keys. It took me a while to convince Emily that I'm not joking. I think He's I like... so bad at, like, they're so good at losing things. That's not really true, but this is uh, not great. I think I took them out of my pocket when we were sitting on that bench eating breakfast. Oh boy. Whew. They were sitting right on the bench where I left them. All right, take two. Let's get ready to hit the river. Now we're like, we got some extra exercise and now we're sweating, so let's get in the water. So the tricky part of river floating is you gotta figure out how to like get yourself to one point and then back to your vehicle. I think we're just gonna park the van at the end and then we're just gonna walk all the way to where we wanna start with the kayak. It's not the best system, but we'll work up a good sweat doing it. So right when we get there, we can hop right in the water. Just 
<laughs> so, a 35 minute walk. We're gonna wake up, wait. <clears throat> we're gonna work up a good sweat. So when we hit the water, we're really loving it. All right, we underestimated that walk. Very hot, but we made it to the water. Beautiful. Tons of people out here, obviously. What better to do on a good hot Saturday? Two hours later, maybe. No way. Finally ready to hit the water. I can leave. I'm working and I'm it was a lazy river we're hitting class three rapids out here i'm gonna be drinking a little bit of river water today yeah was hot too. I thought it was a dog. It's a deer. We got to the end of our float here and we were like, we're not ready to be done. So we just hitched the kayak on a rock and we're just floating in the middle and having a good time. What an idea. Like, literally, it's the best weather you can have. Well, <laughs> if you're on a river. If you're on yeah. land, you're sweating. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> back to the van we got to land and it's hot yeah I think we chose the right plan by going on the river today Definitely. it's it's a lot hotter when you get back on like okay. off the river we we killed our plants today look at him he's usually so like perky and like up and this guy was like bro I'm thirsty I need water <laughs> there's no water in here we got Emily, that's you. How much more German does that make? You got some street cred out here with the German food. So we're in town one last time for another German meal. What is it? The Wiener Schnitzel and the sauerkraut. Gross. <laughs> got some food in town for the last time. We definitely splurged a lot. So, time to go back camping in the woods where we can't be tempted to spend any money. <laughs> All right, we were way too hot to hang out in the van, which rarely ever happens. So we were like, what do you want to do? So we grabbed the chairs, went down to the Wenatchee River and we're just sitting here in the shade. It's a lot more comfortable. Just gonna chill. But I 
thanks for coming along on our little adventure with us to Lincoln Worth. We had a ton of fun. I really like this town. Yeah, it's pretty cool. It's definitely like Toity -toity. or like overly touristy but there's so many places to eat and you can actually like have like you know good authentic experiences i would say yeah i mean we were tourists so it was like perfect yeah for sure be sure to subscribe to our channel so you don't miss any more of our videos and this is where we're gonna leave you guys see you on the next adventure see ya